Hi. So, uh, if you remember our last video where we had talked about gene set enrichment analysis, and there we have elaborately discussed how to how to specifically look enrichment plot, enrichment score. This what this was the figure uh, and the video where we had specifically talked in details of every single aspect of the enrichment plot, enrichment score, rank, explaining these figures, normalized enrichment score, we adjusted below and every single aspect of this algorithm, how it works and what you need to know to interpret, write it for your paper and other things. One of the way that we have analyzed earlier is that from GSEA or Genes and Enrichment Analysis, we you downloaded the GMT file and run it locally. That's one of the sustainable way. For instance, if you think, okay, I want to run a lot of them and I want to use the entire GSEA datasets, compare multiple of them at a time. So how do I do it? So let's search for the GSEA. I explained it earlier, I know that, but let me so essentially, for recapping, we're taking our gene list with their all relevant data, comparing against the gene set database, run it, and get this enrichment scores. Now, when you, you can see there is something called Molecular Signature Database or MCDB. And all these in here are curated list of the collections for human and mouse and they have their own list now for example you want to run your genes list of genes after differential expression against H C1 C2 C7 or many more and you don't want to do the GMT5 file downloading you don't want to do the local things we just want okay easy peasy let's go on this way and just run it from there so to do this there is a package called mcdb r so what is that it's like actually the originally it is like um, it's r package if we go in here So, MCDB, here I got dot. This is a quite popular package. You can use this one. You just need to type install the package, then MCDBR in your RStudio and it will be installed. And then you run it. Now, the question is how do you actually run it? You need to go through the big natives of it. And if you click on the big is you see the details of it in here. So there are multiple parts in here. One of the main part in here is that you can run it on different formats and different ways. You can use the along with cluster profiler. You can use along with FGSEA. You can use with the GSBA based on your data frames. Now. You can get details from here. I would suggest you to read about it. As we discussed earlier, that you want multiple of them against them, you want to run it. So to do so, what do you need to do actually? You have the probably the differentially expressed gene list. You installed this package. Now with FGSEA or the cluster profiler. You write your code on such way 
that it takes that into consideration uh, branchial genes then then consider the options of the AMSIC DVR using the FGSE package which specifically will be making your data set ranking and every other parameter that is required and go through the specific the data sets of your interest for example let us go through this so if we look at this code it's probably better in here be your side you can see that it is a specifically asking you to perform along with all of these probably three four of or five of these specific categories within the this human collections so you can specify okay this is the homo sapiens i want then you specifically go for the each of these data sets and then you just run your code and it will give you all those analysis that actually you need it for your own data sets so let me put it on this way first you have installed amsic dvr by using install package in r studio then you import it and when you import it after that you get your differentially expressed gene list and from there you go to the human collections or the mouse whichever you want you just write in there fgac and mc db setup especially the mc db db setup in r that's okay i want a homo sapiens specific of these data sets h oncologically or immunological the signature c7 then when you go in there you specifically ask them to come get your gene list and compare against these curated gene list responding or corresponding to a specific pathways either it is CAG, reactum, immunological or any of them you have interest and finally you print them out there are multiple ways of doing it. One of the way is looking at that which pathway is upregulated and downregulated and based on NES. This is one of the example. Okay, you look at this figure, you say, okay, what is upregulated, what is downregulated? And you can always look at all of those pathways you are interested okay i am going through this neurodegeneration or reactum dna strand elongation each of them you look at there are upregulated pathways down regulated pathways you can take all of them that's not a problem at all now you say okay i want to see which of these pathways have what nes score normalization enrichment score uh, uh, as I repeated it earlier please look at the earlier video explain the NES versus ES score and appear adjusted values everything in there and then you save those results where you have this uh, specific NES score and peer adjusted value and every single thing that you require once you save this list you can put a figure like the one we have for your publication and ES and peer adjusted figure be adjusted value now you want this a specific pathways to be the corresponding like what what are the genes belongs to this specific pathway for example you are interested in p53 so you can write code to 
specifically look at the lock to fold change of the genes those are corresponding to this specific pathways and present with you differentially expressed gene list. The examples could be this or CBPA and many of them. Now you say, okay, this is one way of doing it. Now you have this enrichment score and you want to see, okay, this I have the enrichment score. Now I need, I want to present it. Okay, I want to present it like this enrichment plot. So you can always call from there. Okay, this is what I have done. Now let's let's look at actually like on our code. Okay, we want the enrichment plot. So you have this enrichment plot also in there where you have, okay, this is a P53 for example. You have this enrichment plot and all this aspect of enrichment plot is already explained in other video. So you read those, you understand it from there and you are good to go for gene set enrichment analysis. That's all you require for the gene set enrichment analysis. If you have any question, concern, interest, please feel free to let me know. There is nothing to shame or hesitate. It's the learning process and we all need to really, really concentrate on learning and help each other. And that's all about MCDVR and enrichment plot. Thank you.